Hello folks. Well you know the other day I got a surprise package from one of my fellow Iowans and YouTube subscribers. You know that was really kind of you Mr. Reams. Well they consist of a self-contained ammeter and voltmeter that actually determines the source voltage of the computer adapter or battery pack that provides USB power to run your phone charger or your backup battery charger or model RC battery chargers. Well I've had and used the power practical bar gauge and I really liked it and I've always used it but it only gives relevant information you know via blue bars where uh, these USB doctors are pretty useful. What you're seeing is my practical tests of all both of them so you can see what it looks like. One of the things that I like is that when you begin charging something that is low on the charge the maximum charge amperage that the USB power can provide can actually be seen. You know, think of the amperage as the flow of power through the wires. The more the amperage, the more the flow and the quicker the charge. That's kind of typical. Well, what I found is, and is especially interesting to me, is that my laptop and PC have a maximum output of 0.5 amp. That's 500 milliamps. Well, the small adapter that came with my iPhone that plugs into the wall has an output of 1 amp. That's 1,000 milliamps. Now I know why my phone charges so fast using that. <laughs> so for your own practical purposes, you may find it interesting to see how many amps and how much you can get out of your charges that you have. I don't know how much these cost, and maybe there are lots of others out there like it. There probably is. I don't know. But I do know that this was a thoughtful gift, and since I like gadgets so much, you know, I thought I'd show you too. And you might note my phone charges about 30% when I'm doing these tests and charging. And also note that uh, these charger doctors are pretty cool. Uh, they come in two different versions. And Tom says they can just be simply found by searching on eBay. Here I'm plugging the power practical meter into the one amp iPhone charger. I'm also plugging it in now to the Geek Tech battery pack that I use to charge my phone with all the time. And now I'm going to use the charger doctor the same way and I'm plugging in here you can see that the output is 5.09 volts. And since nothing's plugged in it's charging at 000, 000 amps. And here I'm plugging it into the 1 amp iPhone charger and you can see its output is 5.08 volts and it is charging nothing at zero amps. Now I'm going to plug in the phone and you can see that it pops up to 0.99 amps so it's almost one amp output still at five volts. So that little tiny charger is a good little charger. And again now I'm plugging in the inline charger doctor so you can see the difference. You know, I like the inline one on the airplanes and chargers for that, but on the laptop and on my uh, PC, I like the one that's uh, opposed sideways. It's a little more flush so you don't bump into it. Now I'm plugging the battery into my AirHogs quadcopter and as you can see there is no current flow. So that means that the battery is charged. And now by plugging in the charger doctor you'll see the same thing. It's charging at 000 amps. But it also tells you that this battery on the left that you're using to charge it is and has a full 5 volts in it. I'm charging one of the batteries off of the small quad copper. It's charging about 600 milliamps there as you can see. And the uh, supply voltage is still around 5 volts. As you can see it rapidly oscillates between the output voltage and the current flow in amps. Well 
Well, now I'll plug it in to actually charge the Geek Tech battery so we can see what kind of things are going on here. I'm using the one amp charger from my cell phone. And as you can see, it's charging at 0.5 amps right now, which means that that Geek Tech is charged at least 50% already. I believe it's a one amp battery. Here you see me charging both Geek Tech batteries using both the inline and the directly opposed versions of the charger doctor. The really cool looking, absolutely in clear plastic, and uh, really I think they're, they're well worth the money, whatever they were. And you know, if you like lights, like I do, being the night flyer, you're going to like these. What do you think of Charger Doctor? It looks pretty nice. Here you can see on my PC that the output is 5.5. That's the maximum output that's going to come out of that PC. So I'm going to go now and see what my charger is pumping out in my car. Thanks again for the gift, Tom, and thanks for watching, folks.